We're pleased to be joined out here on NFL Radio Row for Super Bowl 58 from Thomas Dimitrov, former NFL GM, Sumer Sports, great analytics, uh, what you guys got going on, you and Eric tuning in on a daily basis, fantastic stuff. How are you enjoying your time out here? It's good. I mean, I, I sometimes can't believe we're in Vegas, right? I'm like, is this really happening? <laughs> but, you know, you go by a beautiful stadium and you see the energy and I'm thinking as long as the general managers and head coaches take care yeah. of their guys and keep them in line and there's no mishaps, I think it's a, I think it's a great thing for the league. You know, Thomas, a team I cover in the Arizona Cardinals, at least at this point last year, seemed lightweight, light years away from this. These two teams out here in San Francisco and Kansas City, they're light. They're they're just well oiled. But then when you look at what Monty Austin, who you're very familiar with, your New England days together, uh, he did a lot of the dirty work last off season, and now is poised for a big off season. Well, look, I I want to comment on Monty because I know him well again. You guys are really fortunate to have a guy like that that's come in, um, coming after Steve Keim, who was a very talented GM. And of course, things, you know, Rich McKay, who, who you probably know, Rich is the head of the ch uh, chair of the competition committee. There's been a lot talked about him recently. He used to say to me in Atlanta, it never ends well. You don't think it never ends well until it doesn't end well, right? And then it doesn't end right. well. And so, the, you know, Steve, Steve had his run there, right? Really good run. But mm -hmm. now you have a guy in there who's, you know, a fresh start for, for the organization. He's really dialed in on, on evaluating. So you know that he's going to do his work on it. And the staff, that was a new staff he put together, right? Yes. I want to make sure. Okay. And, and so I'm excited for what he can do for you guys. How, how challenging is it to, as a GM to go? Is it, it, I mean, I think that this year probably could be more challenging for Monty because he comes in and he kind of dismantles everything and takes it down to the studs as far as the organization, clears, you know, any of the guaranteed money down the road outside of Kyler Murray. It feels like, you know, that's their quarterback going forward. But, you know, ample cap space ton of draft capital yeah. but last year I mean is it is it harder is it easier said than done I guess to knock an organization down and then kind of prime it for a good big off season no I don't I think I think it's the right way to do it I mean I feel like I could bond with that when we got into Atlanta back in 08 not to do a whole bunch for of the history no, stuff but sure. my experience with it is you have in my mind you have to go in there besides a quarterback that I mean that kid is really talented we know that mm -hmm. and it's good that it kind of kicked off the way that it did it seems so important building around that but I think no you 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 take it down to the studs because you have to have it right for you know I mean where we are again and as well like that's a good I like yeah. that those two guys know what they want they're both they're, again they're both smart guys and thought out guys yeah and so I think it needed to happen now, how you build back up? It's not that complicated. What what is their cap space right it's, now? Right now, it's around forty. They could get some okay. rollover, and then there's some, you know, roster maneuvering that they could get, you know, close to sixty plus, okay. you know, twelve to you know, eleven to twelve yeah. picks, including two first rounders. I mean, yeah. he's Monty's armed for this offseason. He is armed, and I, you know, we say all the time, like, even in the business I'm in right now, you know, the opportunity to look at the draft and look at the free agency and figure out where the good the values are, and again. I think that's that's a really important part of being a team builder now. You're not just saying I'm a I'm a draft guy or I'm a free agent guy. Most of these general managers that are my contemporaries will say to me, like Thomas, you can help us in, in the data side and sumer sports with, with the draft. Yeah. And we kind of have that figured out. They think they do. <laughs> they really want the help in free agency. There's there are so many misses in free agency. And so the more data that's out there, the more educated guesses. Not guesses, but the more yeah. educated moves you can make, the better, right? It's, it's a better approach to it. You know, as much as it, there's excitement as, for this, as far as this offseason goes, I, I want to pick your brain about Monty. Any great stories from your Foxborough days that you could share with our audience? Look, one thing about Monty was, again, he was a tireless worker, and he, you know, all, all of that hair that he doesn't have right now, <laughs> he, he probably lost because he was such a, a hyper, uh, like, uber con, uh, conscientious yeah. person, which I loved about him. And it was one of those things we always got along really well because – when I was a college director there, Scott Pioli was our, our head, but we were really dialed in on our, on our college department. And he was just one of those guys that was, again, tireless. We had to pull him back, as yeah. we had to, because he was such a tireless worker. So there are stories, I won't, I won't you know, speak out of turn, but the reality is, very good man, really dedicated. There were no bad stories out there where he was a party monger yeah. to be able to say, no, this guy was off the chains. He wasn't that at all. He was 100% focused on One ball. of the first things you read about Austin Ford is if he wasn't in football, he would be in the FBI. So, yeah, I, I, I don't <laughs> yes. think there's uh, anybody with that type of uh, you know direction, probably not a big part here. No, but it's funny because you say that. That's a great lead-in. He was also, when you have a full scout, you get a guy who's a researcher. Back in the day, we used to call them information gatherers. I mm -hmm. always said, no, it's the research side because these guys who have a really good eye 
and they can also research properly. Yeah. And he was that guy, right? He was across the T's, dot the I guy. And you can tell that when you talk talk yeah. to him, right? I love that he's interacting with the media well. Right? Yeah, yeah, he stops by, he says hi. I mean, I think he's got a background in even college sports radio, so maybe he's maybe he's kind of trying to scratch an itch of some sort. He just wants us to yeah. invite him on. Maybe well, it's on, on, on us. It, well, I, you know, look, I think about it. Most of us who are with Bill and we're around the Patriot yeah. paradigm, you realize when you leave and you go to your, your place, you bring all of those really amazing things that you, we learned that we could learn nowhere else. This is it the Patriot way? Yeah. 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 And then you bring what you are, your personality, right? Mm -hmm. I went to Atlanta and people were worried when I first got there, oh my God, this is going to be Patriot South and Thomas isn't going to talk to you. I was very much like Monty in that approach. Yeah. I was very good. Like, look, my personality is being communicative. Yeah. You know, so I think it's important that someone acts the way they are. Some of those guys yeah. that didn't work out well from the Patriot way, either coaches or former personnel people, they tried to be like Bill. No yeah. one can be Bill. Yeah. Bill is Bill. Is Bill. It's one and, of one. And, and by the way, I'm, it's unfathomable to me that Bill is not a head coaching position this year. It's wild. It's wild that we could go at least one season without Bill Belichick, who's available, uh, coaching in the NFL. Thomas Dimitrov, Sumer Sports, fantastic insight. Any more info on what people can find at Sumer? So look, Sumer right now, Sumer, sumersports.com. We have an amazing, and I'm really proud of our guys, Eric Eager and what they put together. He probably talked about that, that, that game uh, outlook, right? It's a 40 pager, great graphics, really visual, easy ex you know, explaining, consumable for those who are just midline analytic people. We're excited about it. We think next stages of this this business can be really special. We're hoping to knock on the door for Monty when, when the time is right. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. You got it. Thank you, brother. Thanks, Appreciate man. you. Likewise.